Okay, I know I said that I thought the last video would be the last video of this weekly, but I, I recently audited the number of videos I have versus how long I'll be away for, and I realized I think I need two more. That's not really like a big problem because I've been enjoying this weekly, but I have played quite a lot of Super Auto Pets, so I've kind of gone off the deep end a little bit, but you know what? It's one last chance to go, well, two last chances to go Jamie Lee Curtis mode, okay? YouTube viewers like, no! Please! Why? Well, you know, this is something, something the spice must flow. You know how it is. It's like when you're watching Survivor and then like something unimportant preempts it, like a presidential debate or something like that. And they're like, now Survivor is going to be on next week. And you're like, what the heck? They were on the island like in April. Why do I have to wait until December to see the seven hour finale? Like make it make sense. Anyway, on the bright side, I would say we've definitely gotten a familiarity with how the weekly goes this week. Wouldn't you say so? I certainly feel like that's the case. Um, I feel like, I mean, we've already gotten two wins in two rounds. I feel like Guinea Fowl plus uh, Meat Goes Crazy. I feel like Weasel That Blows Itself Up is, uh, is a foolish gamble, but what do I know? You know, for one extra gold, you spend three gold to get one extra gold per turn. Maybe, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe economically it pays for itself if you manage to win enough rounds, but uh, <laughs> if you manage to win enough rounds, you don't need gold to begin with because you're winning. I'll take my level next time. Why don't you take a little bit of support in this region? Doorhead ain't goes crazy, even one round later than I'd like it to show up. I'm not saying we're going flawless here, because usually around four or five wins, my, my pseudo flawless runs start to fade away. Guinea fowl still goes crazy. We don't even sweat that. It did exactly what it had to do, but we're at least in the early game, we're feeling just fine right now. You take one of these. Skunk is incredible. Maybe we don't have time for doorhead ant. We sell you. We're going to sell you two. Don't worry. Maybe we do have time for a doorhead ant then. Keep two of these bad boys. Um, two of the moths around. Nah. Nah. I mean, I see the, the power of baboon, but I also think that there's a... Okay, well, with two of them, maybe, sure, maybe. I've been known um, to overrate the baboon a little bit. It has been part of some of our 10 pieces, but it's also been a part of some of our, our more disappointing runs, without a doubt. Doorhead me, doorhead me, doorhead me. Oh, baby. That's not doorhead, this is guinea fowl, but either way, there you go. Five wins, this is inevitably where we lose. Because you skunk, I'm going to move you up here. I'm going to take the baboon. We'll take stats while they exist. I mean, are you seeing how autopilot this is right now? <laughs> that's how you know I've played too much of, of this weekly. Now, that's a very strong elephant. I'm hoping we get a little skunk counter. It's just, just a little thing. Skunk, that's how you do every time we skunk. You know what I'm talking about? Jennifer Page, Crush. Now that's what I call music for. It's just... Just a little thing, skunk, and then you do. <laughs> you know what I'm, you have no idea what I'm talking about? That's very fair. Squad still goes hard. Levels always go hard. Everything is going to be all right. Crocodile. I'll take that. And I'll run, honestly, I would run a guinea fowl up at the front. Well, maybe I'd run a, a skunk up at the front. This is, I, it's funny, because, like, you wouldn't expect this to be bad. But I feel like we just made our squad slightly worse now to get, hopefully, a lot better later. That's a very strong cockroach. We stalled out on six. This is better than usual. I'd say, you need this. Roll me. It's a very important round to get this on. It really helps out our skunk. Honestly, I would say doorhead ant. The sooner I get rid of you, the happier I'm going to be, probably. For now, um, I'm honestly going to... Oh, no, I'm not going to give anybody anything. I'm going to wait for chocolate. Skunk's getting relatively strong. The, the, the squad is high quality. If we could just get good fives, tier fives and sixes, like, I'm not, I'm not feeling half bad about this. Turns out that's because I'm feeling fully bad about this, but 
Still, we weren't off by much there. I think a chocolate level two skunk, we're off to the races. You obviously have to go. Forget the lion. I'm happy with my two crocodiles. Obviously, forget the guinea fowl. That's, that's for sure got to go. There's a tier six for us. Hammerhead not interested. You need to fill some space on the squad. It should be, it, it could be a tier five. The tier five is good enough. That's, you know what? You also need to go. That's our problem. Am I, I, I'm, I might be crazy for this one, but I'm doing it anyway. And forget the hammerhead for now. Monkey at tier five. I mean, it would be nice to get a level two monkey out there ASAP at the expense of, well, at the expense of nothing right now. And then probably start buffing whatever your tier six is going to be. Pretty strong bus. I got to hand it to you. It's a pretty strong bus. I know this looks bad. I, I mean, I wouldn't say it's what we planned for, but here's how I see the run going. Like quality, bup, bup. Of course, you'd love to not have the dip, but if we get to 10, what do we care? And if the monkey gets buffed, the monkey gets buffed. That's life, man. And I would absolutely sell you to get a tiger out there. And again, we, we have this much HP. We can afford to lose this round. I would much rather draw or win, but we can afford to lose this round. Get this scorpion out of my freaking face, okay? Get him out of my face. We'll all take my draw happily there. We're going up against the Albert Einstein of walruses. Okay, you're gone. You getting to level two would absolutely go, it would go Jamie Lee mode, and I'm not afraid to say it. Stay frozen, chocolate. I just enjoy a sniper in this game. Either way. I mean, the baboon could definitely leave. He's buffing a tiger. That's not super relevant. I definitely over-prioritize keeping the, the baboon well past its best before date. Okay, order is going to be modestly frustrating here. Never mind. Order was actually... It might have even been better, although I don't think the result changed. I would just run a scorpion position one instead of a, a, a baboon. And then I know I know we got the three alpacas in there, and it, that's that's mighty tempting to me. Monkeys buffing the scorpion instead of the skunk now. It is what it is. <laughs> Holy cow, our scorpion two for one? I feel like we just haven't built, like, we, we haven't built an insanely strong squad from a statistic standpoint. But the power that our skunk has is, wow, is crazy. We're going to have a level three tiger. So it's, we're going to have, like, I mean, we're going to be destroying the weakest units on the enemy squad, and we're gonna be sniping them down too. Now this squad was much stronger than I would have expected. You got me with that one? You had you had a wide squad instead of a narrow squad? I still feel like this goes crazy. The monkey is not like super relevant if I could get a walrus instead, oh baby. And I honestly think you could probably just send it and have a good chance at 10 without spending any money in our next couple rounds, but I'm... I'm welcome to being embarrassed as well. I think I might lose. <laughs> You're like, oh, no way. Really? <laughs> no, let's go, dude. Wasn't even close. Sheesh. Pita's great. We'd have to hope that you don't get the death touch, which means we could use a donut and maybe put it on the tiger instead if the donut shows up, which it didn't. But you know what? At the very least, here, we can be reasonably conf confident that the um, at least one unit might have a chance to take advantage of a PETA. Oh my god, it couldn't have gone better. We reduced their Triceratops to 1 HP, so their elephant killed it, and the PETA didn't get a chance to work. That's why you buy a skunk this week. Good start. I told you! Just like a, a good heartbeat looks on an EKG. Editor's note, I am not a doctor. Um, just for level potential. We'll put it at the back just in case there's iguanas. And I'll be a green turtle. It's 
one of my it's one of my daughter's favorite animals, the turtle. Well, this didn't go well anyway. But someone on Twitter made a thread that was like, or made a post that they were gonna make a thread of kids' songs where the adult singers didn't have to go as hard as they did. First one I would start with. Um, Billy Porter, Friends with the Penguin from Sesame Street. Feel free, if you're interested, you can go look it up. Billy Porter did not have to go as hard as he did on Friends with the Penguin. Nah, friends with the Penguin, it starts by saying hi. Invite someone to play with you. You'll have a friend and we'll have one too, so give it a try. But also Webby Flippy Feet from Sesame Street. I mean, that, that the turtle song, if you're wondering how it was relevant... They kind of, I'm not afraid to say it, they kind of went Jamie Lee Curtis mode on the on Webby Flippy Feet. Please, NL, I can't stand this. What is this Jamie Lee Curtis mode? Just another Freaky Friday, brother. No moths. I ran anti-moth cricket up at the front. You hit me with no moths. Sorry, I'm, I'm disappointed that I'm on 4 HP because it limits our ability to be like wide open in the meta. But you also know like what we're looking for here. Maybe this is a blessing in disguise because it's like a little bit of an unusual squad by my standards. I'm not leveling you. I'm looking for meat. Another doorhead ant would go crazy. I am still looking for meat though. Saw's meat. There it is. It's still gonna go crazy. Oh, because we got a free reroll. It's awesome. It's amazing. <laughs> it's an okay looking squad. I don't know if we have the ability to purposely destroy. Oh, oh, <laughs> to purposely destroy our run taking baboons this time though. Okay, turns out, um, great, great game. Aries five level two iguana goes pretty hard against two doorhead ants. You got me good. You get out of here. Dragonfly comes to play. We could give meat to the other one, but, you know, it's just, uh, gonna be a little cautious. So, I know what I said. Yeah, here I go taking the baboon again. I recognize it doesn't buff anything this turn, but, uh, some of these units, like, perhaps the dodo, are not long for this world. And it was just, it was the best, it was the best dude available, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, we're getting destroyed. <laughs> this is a disaster. You should go. It's kind of like a little too late to be super hopeful about a weasel. It does at least inherit a small buff from our baboon. And honestly, I, I also can't believe that I'm doing this. Yeah, here we are. At least we're in loser's bracket. We should have a good chance to get like a draw. Nope. All right. Um, well, now we're really in the loser's bracket, and we just have to win out. Well, that makes our decisions a little easier. Tier 5, Vulture. Dies so bad against a crocodile, but probably is great tempo right now. And a scorpion. Can I just say yet again, I'm aware of the fact that our baboon is buffing nothing. <laughs> skunk is what we need. We'll replace Weasel with Skunk next turn. We're not really doing summon build. I'm just happy to have the vulture there because it's like it's pretty good in its own right. Finally, okay, we're not going down to one. We might get four wins on this one. We're not going down at one win. I don't think we're going down below three. Doorhead ant still crushes. Not interested. At this point, absolutely, like anything could help. Bit of a waste. You know, I'm looking at my squad and I'm thinking, actually, we may uh, go down at two wins. <laughs> we may not, but we... We may. We're not gonna, but we could have. Okay, great work, Lance. We really need, a, like, a force multiplier here. Level two skunk would be, would be very bullish. And then we do need a level five... And it's not, like, our scorpion is not what we need. More than anything else, we need a lion that goes, uh, sicko. A sicko lion? Forget doorhead ant. 
Orca could, is, is just not good enough to be the sole buff inheritor from the baboon, I think. Um, right, we have a vulture, so our lion is... Oh, it's just a 6-6. Six, six. It's so much worse than a scorpion. My vulture! My everything! There's no shot, right? Just give it to me straight, dog. There's no shot. This is deserved. It's like we, we made some mistakes there. From 10 to 3. What's crazy is we didn't even really change it up that much. Sorry, I'm, I got a ping in my Discord. Ugh. Jump to present. Haha, ha, you talk so much about the Peloton. I'm shocked how no Italians in the Discord have mentioned how Peloton is slang for being bald. What the heck? Everything is connected. That's, I mean, I'm not mad at the comment. It's kind of funny. I didn't know that. This is the first time I've heard that. Let me be um, a peculiar piece. I think that's an apt description. Sorry, I'm very thirsty. I'm back on the bubbly. I know, I was off the sauce for a while, but I'm telling you, ever since getting the Costco membership, $9.89 for 24 bubblies. Like, it's, it's cheaper than the water that comes out of the tap. Editor's note, it is not cheaper than the water that comes out of the tap, but it is, is, is pretty darn cheap. It's kind of, I'm not a soda drinker. I'm not passing judgment. This is merely economics, not, like, health. It's crazy to me that soda is cheaper than sparkling water at Costco. Or, or anywhere, maybe at any grocery store. Like, don't you use... Isn't Coke sparkling water plus syrup? <laughs> and sparkling water is just Coke minus the syrup, but obviously it's got some kind of flavoring in it. They, they pass it through a room full of fresh fruit before it goes out on the produce display at No Frills. I don't have an answer for you. Forget the dog. It's a bit weird. What if you gave me an early level and just saw what you spit out here? Like, I would sell a cockroach to get an osprey out there, and then we can get another level on y'all on later. I don't know. Like, uh, it just I guess it's that it's not priced at the, the cost to actually manufacture it. Oh my god, these iguanas. It's not priced at the cost to manufacture it. It's priced at like what the the market will bear the the cost of. So people are willing to pay more for sparkling water than they are for soda. Or rather, I guess it could go either way. Soda drinkers expect their soda to be cheaper and sparkling water drinkers are willing to pay a premium for a zero calorie beverage that is perceived as healthier. I say perceived even though it's hard to imagine that sparkling water couldn't be much healthier than soda. It depends. I don't know. One day they're going to be like, hey, did you know that if you drink too much carbonated water, it puts oxygen bubbles in your blood and leads to like tachycardia or something like that? Oh, well, we all got we all got to choose our path in life, right? Anyway, I think this is also a horrendous looking run right now. But imagine next turn. Just imagine this, OK? Imagine next turn we combine our Thank you. We combine our marmosets and we get a dragonfly. The perfect dragonfly. If I had a way to buff you, I'd, I'd love to keep you around. I just, I just don't. Freeze me, freeze me. Certainly feels like a loss could, could be coming here. You are going to do a lot of damage. I know the porcupine also seems like it deserves it, but I'm telling you, this marmoset's going to go, you don't even want me to say it. And... Honestly, here's how confident I am. I'm this confident that I've got two snails frozen in the shop. And I just went four squatted. Two mods? You think you know people. And then you get this, this two moth situation. So turn five, two moths? Who are you, me? Ooh! You gotta admit, that's kind of crazy. Freeze the garlic. <laughs> Bro, I kind of want to lose our next one, too. This is a, It's the best scaler in the game. If 
Finally, we got a one for one. You genius. Well, honestly, just getting that many snails, it, there's no skill involved, really, except deliberately losing. I didn't even get to use my weasel here. But this this buys us a few wins in the in the mid game, I think. It's hard to imagine it doesn't. Sure, skunk is just crazy mode. Porcupine, I'm just sorry. Like I just I, I'm I'm sorry to say that I just simply don't believe in you. Okay. But I do believe that we could lose and get another level two snail out there. And the skunk is just at this point. I've I've gone through periods of loving the skunk and hating the skunk. Of being Doctor Strange love and writing a story about how I learned to stop worrying and love the skunk, but I'm telling you, the the skunk is like an auto add to my to my squad at this stage of the weekly. I'm keeping you frozen. You can't stop me. I'm rolling. I'm canning. No, chocolate comes out next. I'm not canning. I'm not canning. I'm, instead, I'm wasting three gold on rolling. I mean, a, a B, I just worry that a B activates like an extra hurt trigger or alternatively allows uh, an enemy elephant to just run buck wild. So I'm not, I, I'd like to have a B at the back, but then again, our snail's not going to stick around too long. So I got to unfreeze the snail, but as soon as I unfreeze the snail, we're going to lose the next round. It's just, it, it's the way of the world. Okay, you know what? A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. I can't believe that we're keeping the marmoset going, but is what it is. It doesn't seem like it lasts much longer than turn nine, but I think on turn nine, it's pretty good. My squad. Turns out animals that do things are, are pretty potent. I guess we want it like that, just in case they have a crocodile. Nope. <laughs> Snail me. He was right. He was right about the snail. Doorhead ant leveling. Sure. Again, limited future on this run. And limited present. So what does it have? Well, when you put it that way, not a whole lot. But I'm telling you right now, I'm not losing to a dog. That's just not in my, uh, that's not in my vocab right now. Skunk Tiger papers over a lot of errors here. Now we just need, like, Pteranodon. You're always interesting. But, like, Pteranodon, um, level 2 Walrus. I'm wondering if maybe, like, a PETA on you doesn't completely change the game. And this week, I mean, I, I, you roll. Salad's useless. Chili Pepper's pretty close to useless. Only, I'm saying this week, this week. Chili pepper, very useful some weeks when melon armor or coconut armor are in the pack, etc., etc. Did we double skunk or did we only get a single skunk? But wait, is this guy going to get a double effect because of the tiger? Or was that like, it was just an amazing play? I got to give you credit for your amazing play. I'm sure the double skunk would have given us a draw there at a minimum. It's Jover, isn't it? He's washed. He's not washed. He's not washed. He's not washed. Bro, give me some chocolate. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> oh, there, thanks so much. You know what? I, I still think this is better. I'm still willing to do it. Walrus, cow. Round 12, this squad wins. Watch, watch. Be ashamed of your words and your deeds when this squad wins. My whole squad's dead. I knew the baboons were the right play. Well, that wasn't our finest performance, but hey, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Click the like button if you didn't. I'll see you next time. See ya!